I even get started with this video, this video is the most important video I will have on my channel. So please, please, please stay. Um, I know that you're probably going to get bored, but if you're one of my subscribers or planning on subscribing to me, this is such an important video. This video is going to be addressing things, like addressing the hate, but also telling you guys when I'm going to do a face reveal and a voice reveal and a name reveal. So definitely stick around for the end of this video or until the end of this video because this video is going to be such an important video. I cannot explain how important this video is and I wish every one of my subscribers would watch this and understand what I'm saying and stuff. So hopefully everyone watches this because this is the only video I'm going to be talking about my face reveal and hate. So yeah, let's address the hate first and then we'll go on to the face reveal voice reveal name reveal thing one of the most comments i get is why do you have that many and i understand not all of it's hate some of it's genuinely like a genuine question that's like huh i wonder why other people collect them but most of it is hate out of rudeness and i don't necessarily find it rude but some of them are like why do you have that many it's wasting it's blah blah, blah. so yeah, we're just gonna get on that topic first. The reason why I have so many is because you have to have a variety. I don't know what you're doing on your period if you don't have a variety of products stored. Yes, you might not have as many. You might just have one single product for when you're having a heavy flow or one single product when you're having a light flow or one single product for when you're having this type of flow. But I don't know what you're doing if you only have one product. You are tripping if you do. And don't feel bad, like, if you're trying to gain... Hold up. So, yeah, um, I have no clue what you're doing if you don't have a variety of products. Don't feel bad if you're trying to build up your collection or your storage. Don't feel bad if you're trying to build up that and you only have one product. But it's, like, the people who don't get why other people have storages that I don't get. <laughs> Here's why I have a variety of period products. Okay. So, if I'm on a heavy, just imagine I have a heavy flow. Right? I have a heavy flow. But I don't feel like wearing a tampon. So, I'm going to wear this pad. Okay. Imagine this. One day, I want to wear a pad on a heavy flow day. But in the next, but in the next, I want to wear a tampon on my heavy flow day. But then the next day, I have a light flow, so I have to wear a light tampon. But if I don't want to wear a light tampon, I could wear a panty liner or a pad. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, it's for different days. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, I have different flows on different days. Like, my last few days... I have a light flow. So I have to wear tampons or pads because I can't, or not tampons, liners or pads or like a light tampon. That is why I have it. That's why I have so many. And yes, of course, I don't have to have a regular for this and then a regular for this because honestly, I have four different regular tampon products. But some days, like, they, they all have different traits. Some days, I want to wear this one because the click makes it easier or if I'm going out somewhere. But other days, I really like these because they're comfy and stuff like that. So, I'll wear this one. And then, this one because I'm having a light flow day. Like, honestly, that's why. And if you're still confused, let me explain it one more time. Different days, I have different flows. And on different days, I want to wear different products. Like, some days I want to wear tampons, and some days I want to wear pads. So imagine this. Light flow day. I have the choice between a light tampon, or a pad, or a liner. But if I was someone who only had, like, one product... Sorry about my hand over here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> um... But, yeah, if 
I was one of those people who only had one product, if I wanted to wear a tampon, I would have to drive out and get a tampon. But I have it all with me, so I have to make less trips to the store. And also, it's just a fun video idea. Like, it's the same reason people collect cards. Like, I don't get why they collect cards. What are you going to do with them? I don't know. They just like having them. And obviously, these are different than playing cards because guess what? You actually need them for your hygiene if you're a lady. This is what you need. So I'm not doing anything wrong by having them or collecting them. And there's no reason for you guys to get upset about it. If you're mad, then leave. Seriously, I barely have a drawer full. Like, I'm not even cramming in here. It's like, I still have spaces in this drawer with products, with places I can put products. And that, that's a pretty small drawer. So I don't even have that many. Sorry I'm getting upset, but I'm serious. Next comment that I get a couple times, that I have gotten a couple times, is that I'm being hurtful to the earth. Now, have you guys heard of those cloth pads? Well, if you haven't, they're pads that you can wash and reuse. Kind of like a menstrual cup, but you don't have to put it inside you. They're washable pads. You know, that is disgusting to me. I don't know why at all. Like, I have no clue why it's disgusting to me. To some people, it's completely natural. It's fine. Um, but cloth pads are extremely disgusting. The thought of having to really look at my period blood and wash it. Even if I got my mother to do it, I'm pretty sure she would be quite uncomfortable to wash my blood out of my cloth pad. So yeah. Women are already ruining the earth by buying so many pads a year. But guess what? I'm not wasting any pads because I'm going to eventually use every single one of these. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm eventually going to be using every single one of these pads. Every single one. Every single one in this drawer. And even if I had five drawers filled, I would still use every single one of them because I still have 50-something years until my period ends and is completely gone. So I have 50-something years to get rid of all these. And it makes no difference if I went out and bought pads when I needed them. Because that's ruining the earth anyways. Just because I'm stocking up doesn't mean I'm ruining the earth more than any other woman. Thank you. Those are mainly the only two comments that I get as hate. But an extra little one that I get sometimes, and this is mainly on my TikTok for periods, is that it's gross. Not that it's gross. Or a lot of people say, why, why do you... <laughs> They ask, why do you make period videos? Like, people have moms to do that. <sighs> this really upsets me. This one specific comment that I get sometimes really upsets me. <sighs> because not... Sorry, it sounds like I'm crying, but I'm like, just... This one really gets to my heart. And you guys don't know why, and I'm not going to go into my personal life or anything. But not everyone has moms. A lot of people grew up with fathers... And only fathers, so they had to look up to these videos. And a lot of people are still growing up without fathers. Or with... Mm. A lot of people are still growing up with only fathers. Their mothers left them. Or abandoned them. Or was killed. Or killed themselves. Or just... You get my point. Or their mothers aren't alive. Sorry if this upsets you because this might be why you're specifically looking at my channel is because your father is a widow, which means your father... Your, it makes you a widow when your husband or wife dies. So if your mother has passed, I'm very sorry. But that is mainly why girls come to my page is because... These videos are the only thing that they can look up to because they're not going to go to their father for period advice or being like, what's this red stuff in my pants? And they're not going to go up to their fathers and be like, what's discharge? Or what's this? And what's this? Why am I getting hairs on my private areas? 
not a lot of girls are comfortable talking to their fathers about that or even their mothers if they don't have a good relationship with their mothers they might not be very comfortable to talk about it so they count on these videos and that's why i make them moving on away from the hate my face reveal i'm going we're gonna go from my voice reveal to my name reveal to my face reveal my voice reveal is coming up because my voice reveal reveal will be at 100 subscribers and my name reveal will be at 500 subscribers or half of a thousand obviously and my face reveal will be at 1000 subscribers so get us there definitely get us there um because i honestly personally want to do a face reveal but i kind of just want to make it a milestone <laughs> um so yeah definitely get us there we are progressing so fast so i'm not worried about us not getting there because i know we're going to eventually sorry for not posting for a while also um my bad <laughs> but yeah i love you guys or girls i love you all so much peace out i will see you in my next video bye